this is Nadine with Happy Eating Healthy. Today I'm going to show you a really good side dish. It's called sautéed spaghetti squash. The first thing we need to do with the spaghetti squash is we need to bake it. After it's baked and cooled, we'll separate the stuff in the middle so that it looks kind of like spaghetti and then we will sauté it on the stovetop to get that really yummy flavor that we're looking for. So let me show you how we start. I have my spaghetti squash here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. And there's nothing pretty about it. You're just cutting it the best you can in half. Once I get it cut in half, I want to scoop out the seeds here. So I just get a spoon and I scrape out all of those seeds, kind of like you would a pumpkin, except you've got the whole half here to do, instead of scooping inside. Remember, with this being spaghetti squash, if you dig too much, you may just find you're getting some of the part that you want. So just scrape till you get the seeds out. Now that I have these scraped out, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pan, put these in the pan, and then I want to put water in this pan. I want to fill it about half an inch up with water. This water is going to help, the steam from this water is going to help soften and make the spaghetti squash soft. With the spaghetti squash in the pan like this, I'm now going to stick it in the oven and I'm going to cook it for about an hour. After an hour, I want it to cool enough that I can handle the spaghetti squash. So we'll be back after this is cool enough that I can handle it to show you what we do next. My squash is done cooking. So now I'm ready to get the spaghetti squash out of the um, outer skin so that we can saute it. I took this out of the oven and I flipped it over so that it could cool just a little bit. I don't need it all the way cool. Now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this. I'm scraping it side to side and bringing the spaghetti squash into this bowl. And if it's not breaking up enough, you can always go like this and break it some more. So I'm just scraping it and getting it out of the bowl. And you can scrape it like this too. You just want to try to get all of the spaghetti squash out of, off of the skin. And as I said with this, I just go like this to break it apart more because I want it to be kind of like the spaghetti strands. So you see it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to get that spaghetti squash out of the skin. And I'm just going from side to side because then I get it more in the strand. I don't really want chunks and I want it to be strands. But as I'm cooking it, I can break apart any that's not breaking apart into strands. And as you can see, I've got plenty of spaghetti squash right here. So now I'm ready to take this and saute it. So we're going to go over to my stovetop. I forgot to mention one step that we do before we saute it. 
I'm going to take my spaghetti squash and put it in the strainer. And I'm going to rinse it. And as I'm rinsing it, I want to use my fingers to break apart that spaghetti squash. Now this is going to do a couple of things. Number one, it's going to help get rid of some of that excess start. Number two, it's going to make it more stringy, like spaghetti. So I'm just using my fingers and gently breaking this apart. Also making sure that the holes are open so that I'm able to get all of the excess water out. My fingers are just gently breaking this apart. And now you can see it's starting to look quite a bit more like spaghetti. And now we're ready to saute it. I'm now heating the pan up and I want to add my butter spread and I want to melt this butter and once I have this butter melted I'm going to add this squash right here into the pan and saute it and I don't want it a really high heat and because this is a spread it uh, takes a little bit longer to melt because it has more water in it and less fat but it is melting and that's what we're looking for notice it's starting to bubble or boil so now we're just going to add the saute the spaghetti squash and I'm going to add it all and then I'm just going to chop and stir it up so that it can saute so we want this to get just a little bit of color to it. And once this gets just a little bit of color, and here I can even break this up more, then we're going to um, take it off the heat. And we will add the nutmeg and the cheese. And I don't want it, I'm trying to make sure this is all broken up, but I'm not going to continue to stir it because I want it to actually sizzle. So I'm going to leave that just like that and then in a couple of minutes I will stir and turn it. So you can hear it sizzling and I do want to make sure that uh, it gets evenly cooked so I am going to stir it a little bit to get what was on the bottom not on the bottom and then I'm just going to let it cook a little bit more. And I want this to heat all the way through and maybe get a little bit of color even added to it. And you can hear that sizzling. So now I'm just going to stir it a little bit because I want to get what was on the bottom to not be on the bottom. Okay, let that cook just a little bit more. And I do want it to heat through. I want this to be hot when I touch it. Um, in just a minute we will add the nutmeg and the cheese and then give it the final stir. And now we're going to add the nutmeg. We're just going to sprinkle it over. It's only, it's not that much nutmeg. And then I want to add the cheese and sprinkle that over too. Then I'm going to just stir it. And just let it cook a few more minutes. Look how good that looks. Our sautéed spaghetti sauce. Now, I didn't use Parmesan cheese because to me that's a really sharp cheese. I substitute it with an Italian blend cheese. So it has some Parmesan cheese in it, but it has other stuff in it too. So it's not quite such a strong taste. So here is our finished meal. You see how that's steaming? It's nice and hot. Um, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put this in our serving bowl.
and that spaghetti squash is ready to be served. Look how good that looks. This is Nadine with Happy Eating Healthy and here's our sautéed spaghetti squash at only about 79 calories per serving. This is a perfect vegetable and side dish to go with a meat dinner. Enjoy this healthy side dish vegetable. Mm -hmm.